Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Vesna and today I am going to do this 500 piece Clementoni puzzle. This is called Cat and Bunny. And the main reason I'm doing this is because I am taking part in a speed puzzling contest and I am very slow. I think my best time with a 500 piece puzzle is like 3 hours and 45 minutes. And to be honest, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be any quicker with this one because there are so many of the same thing. Um, so this might be quite tricky. But I want to do it anyway and the contest puzzle has a photo of a kitten. So <laughs> I hope this will help a little bit. Um, my plan is to do this floor first. There's so little of that. And then the wall. I think there are quite many hints where to put the pieces. Um, I think the trickier part will be the animals because um, yeah, fur is a bit tricky I think. But they are just so cute. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to doing this. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the sorting was probably the easiest I've ever done and I didn't have any missorted pieces. The boxes were for the edge, wall, floor, wall and fur, fur and floor and fur. If I did this puzzle again, I would change that last one for the distinct lines in the wall. So I started with the floor and it was nice and easy. Then I made a mistake because I did the outlines for the animals. It was a mistake because it crowded my working space and I didn't have enough space in the next phase. So here I am really struggling to get all those long lines to fit among the outlines of the animals. The lines were easy to sell apart and it would have been more enjoyable to put them into place without all the extra pieces on the way. But, oh well, this was quite satisfying as well. Here I decided to sort the pieces by shape, so that the puzzling process would be even more fun. Thanks to the lines in the wood, it was easy to see which way the pieces would go. It was so nice to just put the pieces into place. And then I finally did the edges. I think I should have done them sooner, like right after the floor. This part was super easy and fun. These are the last pieces of the wall. I felt kind of sad that I would not be working on the background anymore. And 
then the animals. Here I was thinking that I would start from the bunny, but the white cat pieces were so much easier that I just had to place them first. The fur pieces were not terribly difficult and the direction of hairs made it easier. This puzzle needs two more pieces, but I only have one, so unfortunately it's missing one piece. And actually, now that I'm looking at the cover, <laughs> there is this mark that there's a missing piece. All right, and then my final thoughts of this puzzle. Um, I think it was very nice to do. I really enjoyed putting together all the parts in this puzzle. There were enough hints to not get stuck. But still, my final time was 4 hours and 30 minutes. So not that fast but it's okay i i really enjoyed doing this and my husband also read to me which is always a bonus um i wanted something that has a bunny in it so uh he read to me this uh children's book um it's in finnish and it's about a farm and the animals there and there there are also some uh, bunnies, which one, one of them is running around on the cover. Um, this was really cute and fun. And then he also read to me this Moomin book. And this was so, so amazing. Like it was funny. It was witty. It was so lovely to listen to. It was, it was amazing. Uh, I highly recommend reading this, especially now in the winter time. Really cozy and atmospheric and very funny. This puzzle was missing one piece. It was marked there on the cover, but it really doesn't matter. And it was good that it was marked, so I didn't look for it that long <laughs> so yeah it was a very nice puzzling experience so yeah that was all for today and see you next time bye bye